the next scenario is we've lost steering. The helmsman uh, has been steering at night and all of a sudden he calls out that he's not getting any response to the helm and the boat is now rounding up. So what are we going to do? Ryan? If, if, we, if we determine that it's, that it's actually at the helm, we're going to, we're going to use the, the existing uh, uh, emergency steering. Which is that's correct. So the first thing we should do is remove the cover down the back there. So let's, because that's well, where we can inspect the steering gear. All yep. hands. Yeah. Absolutely. All hands. I'll get over here where I can see and hang on. Alright, so we've removed the cover. Um, if necessary, you pull up the floorboard as well. So Michael, grab that as well. That comes up. We can now see all the steering gear and we note that the uh, rod has snapped. Now I might add, the likelihood touch wood. Yeah, there's no, this is not cable steering. Cable, failure on cable steering is far more likely. Um, what's most likely to happen with this thing is that nut drops off the quadrant. Right, so the first thing to do is to look and see if it's actually still bolted on. I believe I fixed the problem by putting the nut on upside down, but as long as that rod is attached and some other method has failed, perhaps what's happened is he can't turn the wheel at all and what's happened is the gears in here have jammed. Okay, so at that point we're going to have to deploy the emergency steering. Now if that's the case, you'd need to undo that nut and drop the arm off to free up the steering. Right, so we won't, won't bother with that today, we'll assume that um, something else has failed. So we now need to be able to steer with the emergency steering. So the procedure is, the bar down there is deployed through here, the pin is fitted, ropes are attached to the end so that you can control it with the ropes. Theoretically you can control it off the winches. Um, we might have to work out how to do that. And the wheel has to come off and be lashed down. Saving the little pin. Saving the little pin. Yeah, I found a person yeah. each side with their feet on that bar. Works really well. Yeah, all right, so. Plus the ropes. We've got enough room. Uh, so we know what the jobs need to be done. We need to get control of the boat. So the first thing that has to happen is that bar has to go in and we get, get control. At the same time the steering wheel comes off, you should be able to, you, any of you guys with a tight grip, should just be able to grab that and twist. Can you do that, Tony? Yes. Right. Okay, let's get to it. I'll keep videoing. Uh, at some point, I presume you're going to do a pan pan. Yes. Good move, especially if there are other yachts in the vicinity. Now that needs to be lashed down onto the rails on the roof. So, Brian, you and Murray can go and lash that wheel down. So it goes on the top. You just put it on yep. the top. Yep. Lash it over here on the rails. Let me know when you're finished and we'll come and inspect it. Yep, is, so what Tony's holding is a little half moon, uh, what's the name of those things? Key. Yeah. So it comes out of the, steering shaft that must be retrieved and placed in the chart table. So actually, the, I can steer that quite comfortably now. Yeah, you can. So Tony's going to put it in, lift up the chart table Tony, over on the left hand side is a little container full of bits and pieces. That's it. So the, Now lift the chart table right up. Can you? Keep going. Yeah. Because stuck underneath the chart table, what do we see? Spare one. A spare. Right. Okay, thanks, Tony. Oh, I see, and it'll slide right in so you can clear the bit right. of yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, so the, um, the shaft is in place, the pin has been inserted. I'm just zooming in on the pin. There we go. The pin has been inserted and the wing nut done up again. Yeah, too close. You can see that. Now ropes, we need some ropes to attach to the end of the... Is that a snug fit down the middle of there? This one? Yeah. Yeah. Perhaps that's what that handle is for. It's a sort of spare handle, we haven't worked out really what it fits yet, but that's as good a thing as any. So that was your uh, bilge pump handle. No, it doesn't fit the bilge pump. The bilge pump handle's over there. Mm, ah. Yeah, this is a good fit. Which yeah. ropes do we use for this? Any rope you can grab, I'd grab that green... Yeah, I'd grab that one, that was our man overboard rope a minute ago. We've run out of room yet? No. One rope's one long rope's enough. Two both ropes. You can actually steer it with one winch. No, we're running out of winches here though. Yes, that's what I'm waiting to see. Alright, so we've got the wheels being lashed down. Yep, yeah, I'm happy with that. That's not going anywhere, is it? We haven't lost our key, have we? Someone got that? Yeah, Tony's got the key. So we've put it straight across the top of the cabin. 
um, tie that onto the two handrails and just for extra security we put the weather cap over the electrical connector on the and got black stuff all over your fingers because the rubber's perishing. Yep, dead right. So we've now set up the steering ropes on the emergency tiller and you can see to get past the problem that we're actually using the winch over here, um, we could either move that sheet up. No, we couldn't because we should be using both winches the way that. We've basically run out of winches on the um, starboard side. So to fix the problem, we've run through the saddle down there, the clipping on the saddle, back up across here onto this winch, and then back down to the tiller. And we're just using this winch here to control the rope. We can do that by winding in one direction, that'll do a bit of tension on here, that'll quite happily turn the boat. As is happening at the moment, we're now turning to port. As you can see, the tiller is over port. We're not going very fast, we might not turn it very quickly. And to get the tiller back the other way, I'll just simply manipulate the rope back a bit. And we're just pulling it back around the winch, effectively easy as you would ease a sheet back the other way. All right, thanks, Michael. Yeah. The idea being that um, you don't want to have that people sitting there for hours hanging on the ropes. Okay, next thing that's going to happen is we're going to deploy the emergency steering as opposed to the emergency. So here we go with the emergency steering. Take two. So out it goes through the gap. Michael, can you just um, sway one way or the other so I can see that gap? Thanks. So it goes through the gap in the push pit. Brian has hold of the rope that we're going to use for controlling yeah, how far out the back it hangs, so he's just getting that organised. Yeah, just pull around over again. Yeah. Wait. Tony's going to hang on to that as it goes out. It's also tied on with a halyard. Okay. You can see the halyard up there next to Murray. That's just in case we lose it. So, yep, good idea, Tony. Let's control the rate at which it goes out the back. Right. About there, I reckon, Brian. Don't go any further. You don't have enough leverage. Oh, yeah. So, right, tie it off there. All right, this might work. Yeah. Put a bit tighter. Take it Okay, so we've left it attached to the winch here. That looks like it's working all right at the moment. You got your handle in there? Yep. Now close the jaws. Yep. And that's how you hold it vertically. So, now, you need one person on either side, and you're going to have to be sitting down. So Brian should be sitting with the uh, winch up his crack. Uh, oh, yes, I'm aware of that. So Brian, sit down, right where you are. Put your legs into the cockpit. Now you're going to need to sit there for two hours. All right. <laughs> Get yourself comfortable. Look, can you bring it? Uh, I reckon it's quite dangerous, though. Yeah, if it's frozen. Well, the problem here is that's going to... Yeah, if it's frozen, that way you can get crushed. Yeah, and then I'm fucked. Well, that's why I think he needs to be a bit further forward. In front of So me. out of the way of the end of the pole. No, you need to be over here. Now, it's going to take two of you. Well... So you're going to need one on either side. I don't think this... I think this is dangerous here. Well, where he is, is not particularly Please safe. Off for now. Just for now, can we take that out? It's alright, we've got another 10 minutes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Off. Just loosen it for now. Is that how you do? No. Yeah. I'll just shut it off there while we got get it. it. Right. Working now? Alright, so a slight improvement here. We've used the halyard to hold the end of the pole up, force the blade down into the water more. That makes it easier for the steering guy. But we really do need two people because somebody needs to be pulling on that man.